<laughs> so hi everyone, welcome back to our Facebook Live. So today is our official launch of our Facebook Live. So, yeah. um, so we go live every Friday at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And this week I'm here with my awesome team um, to answer the questions that you guys have submitted. And make sure that you stay tuned to the end um, to hear about our giveaway. And just a FYI, we're only going to be um, answering about nine or ten questions, so we don't take up too much of your precious time. And I'll let everyone introduce themselves. Okay, I'll start. Okay. <laughs> I'm Patty, and um, I have been with Plant Life about 16 years, a little bit more. And I do all of the purchasing of the raw ingredients for Plant Life. My name is Steven, and I help out with the marketing. I do the video guy, the video uh, on Facebook and YouTube. I also do the content for the website and the emails. Hi, I'm Nancy. I'm the national sales manager, and I coordinate our, all our trade shows, and I've been with Plant Life about eight years. Hi, everyone. I'm Charity, and I am director of operations, and I've been with Plant Life for around four years. Hi, I'm Dana. Um, I've been at Plant Life for about six years and I do the art and graphic design. So this is our awesome team and I'll go ahead and jump right into your question. So the first question is, where are you located and how long has your company been around? So I can take that question. We are located in the beautiful beach city of San Clemente, which is in Southern California. Uh, we have been around since 1994, a very, very long time. All of our products are manufactured here um, at this location. The beach is actually just about a mile or two miles that way. Unfortunately, you can't see it, but we're very close to the beach. Um, we're also a woman-owned company, and uh, it's totally fantastic. And you know what? Even though we're women-owned, and Stephen here is our only uh, male in the in the group, we have a lot more males downstairs yep. <laughs> in other locations. Stephen so. loves it though. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right, so next question is: Are your products organic? I can answer that one. Um, we use organic ingredients in many of our formulations. Um, some of the products are 100% organic and other products vary depending on the amount of organic ingredients in them. Um, Plant Life's products are 100% natural. And this is important because we do not use chemicals, synthetics, or ingredients that cause harm to the skin. Um, and the body and also unlike most companies um, since we do our own manufacturing we have control and know exactly what ingredients are going into the products as Stephen mentioned we've been around since 1994 and we have stayed true to using um, the highest quality ingredients because our formulas are made for a purpose and the ingredients such as the herbs, the essential oils, the plant oils, all have to be at the highest quality in order to be effective. So hopefully that answers that question. Um, if you have any more questions you wanna ask about that, just write it in. Type them yeah. down below. Yeah. All right, so next question is, what are your most commonly used essential oils? I think I'll answer that one. Um, probably our top selling essential oil is lavender. It's really good for soothing your skin if you've got a burn or using it to bathe your kids in to uh, kind of keep them calm before it's time to go to bed. Uh, eucalyptus is another one. It's a great um, oil for antibacterial. Um, tea tree, great around September time. Put it a little bit in your kids' shampoo. Before you send them off to school, it helps uh, deter the lice, and if they happen to get lice, it helps get rid of them without any um, nasty chemicals. We also have some great blends that we do. Um, probably our top selling one is Calm, and we diffuse that a lot around here. It's pretty easy too, it's and a good one for yeah, winter yeah. time. Yeah. Really, really good. Um, you can diffuse it, you can put it on, uh, I personally put it on the bottom of my feet and on my chest. It helps me breathe. It reminds me of when I was young and my mom used to put the Vicks on me and put a warm towel and you know give me lots of hugs and kisses and makes me feel better. 
Peppermint's also another uh, really good one. Yes. I enjoy that um, for my hot flashes. <laughs> and anytime I have a, a headache, I She's the old it. one here. I, I'm, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Definitely not. So those are a few of our top sellers. And again, we have a huge line of essential oils and blends. You need to check out our website and see all the great um, oils we have. And any questions, just type them in and we'll answer them. Okay. Well, you know, just FYI, we have a lot of great information on our website as well and our blog. And we have a great book on essential oils. I don't know if it's on the website or not, but um, it um, you can request it. It's a really good one. It has a lot of a lot of information about the essential oils, what they blend well with, and how to use them, and you know those types of questions. So the next question is: Are your essential oils safe to ingest? So I can answer that one. Um, so while our essential oils are 100% pure, they're undiluted. Um, we just don't recommend uh, using them for internal use um, unless you're working with a doctor or a healthcare practitioner, or your licensed aromatherapist. Um, just because it can be dangerous if used wrong, so we don't recommend doing so. So next question is, what's good for hair? So I'll answer that question for you. Um, our beauty. So um, Argon is most known for hair. It's great if you have a dry scalp or damaged hair. Um, jojoba is good too. Rosemary essential oil is great if you have oily scalp or dandruff. Um, it's also good to, um, it stimulates hair growth. You can add, uh, you can mix it in with argan oil or jojoba oil or any carrier oil of your choice. So apply it into your hair. Um, adding a few drops into your shampoo or conditioner is great too. But I would have to say that castor oil is the best for your hair. Um, it is known to prevent hair loss and stimulate hair growth. It also um, has resinolic acid, which replenishes your hair's natural oils, and it has omega-9 fatty acid, um, which penetrates your hair follicles and leaves you with this gorgeous, luscious, beautiful hair. Um, yes, yeah, stop. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's curls. I'm the test dummy, so. Um, and lucky for Salt. you guys, and lucky for us, we will be having castor oil as a plant life product very soon. Yay. Great. So the next question is, what's the difference between massage oils and body oil? Massage oil, I can answer that one. Right. Okay, um, it's all in the formula. Um, with body oil, we use lighter weight oils such as jojoba and apricot oil. And these oils um, are known to absorb very quickly into the skin, whereas massage oil contains thicker oils such as olive and grapeseed, which provides a good glide for when doing massage. Um, both the body oil and the massage oil are infused with essential oils and organic calendula and chamomile extract that we actually make here ourselves. Um, from beautiful organic fresh herbs and um, uh, we use a sunflower based vitamin E in it as well and these ingredients are excellent for the skin to keep it supple and conditioned and both massage oil and body oil can be used as a moisturizer as well and I use them in the shower so while my pores are open right as the water is running and everything I just put a little nickel size on my on my hand and rub it together, rub it on me and, and my legs and whatever, and it just keeps my um, skin moisturized. Um, it actually, you don't need lotion, even though, you know, lotion's great, but <laughs> after about a week, and it's super good for uh, feet, like especially all the dry skin on the, on the heels of your foot. foot. Um, my favorite is the Relax massage oil in the shower because it smells like um, oranges and vanilla, and so it's really yummy. But again, great products. Both of them work really well. Again, formula is everything in the ingredients. Especially this time of the year, your skin's so dry. Dry, dry. Yeah, get ready for uh, beach season. Yeah. yeah. Beach season. We're going to go serve. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So the next question is, what is good for stiff muscles? 
Okay, I'm going to answer that. No smart remarks, Patty, okay? <laughs> no more age things going on today. We have a lot of stairs here at Plant Life. About building. 27 of them to, to get up to our Just to get to our office. You actually counted them, Nancy? I have counted them. I have when I'm trudging up there for the It tent. keeps us fit. <laughs> so to, to answer uh, Jasmine's question, um, probably some of my favorite products are are therapeutic mineral bath salts. Um, they're infused with essential oils that target the stiffness and the soreness in your muscles. Anytime you soak in a bathtub, it's great therapy. It's detox, it helps detox, detox your, your, your body. <laughs> and then we also have a corresponding massage oil, and Patty explained um, the formulations on that. So I put some of that on after I take a bath and the essential oils really help. Um, we talked about some of our blends and we have a great uh, sports relief blend that um, Dana and I have decided our favorite mm -hmm. for when we do our trade shows to put on the bottom of, bottom of our feet because they get pretty achy after you know 10 hours walking around standing at the booth. By the way, Cosmoprox coming up in Vegas. We'll be there. For oh all God. of our yes. friends that are massage therapists and in the beauty industry, stop by and see us. We'll be in the green echo leaf portion because, of course, our products are echo friendly and green. We also um, have a great line that's our Relief Arnica line. And it was originally formulated for deep tissue and uh, great for bruising, anytime you have sore muscle, arthritis. And we actually um, do our extraction here. Right, we, um, we Arnica Montana um, is a herb and we buy it, um, it's an organic herb that we buy from Canada and we make our own extracts. It's a fabulous product especially for bruising, if you've been in an accident, if you've you know, yeah. um, had some medical treatments done. A lot of our massage therapists use the uh, oil in their treatments. We also have a bath salt that's really, really good, and a balm, mm -hmm. and maybe something else is coming soon to yeah. that line <laughs> that we're really excited to have back. So, yes. um, Again, any questions, we've got so much information on our website and on our blog that's really good at plantlife.net. So be sure to hop on, subscribe to our newsletter and get great information and ask any questions. Okay, cool. So next question is, what is the difference between carrier oils and essential oils? I guess I'll take that one too. Um, that we get asked that question a lot and um, we appreciate you guys, you know, put at, at asking these questions and giving us the opportunity to answer them for you because, um, you know, there's, there is a lot of, of questions out there. Um, anyway, um, the question was, getting to the point, uh, the, question, the question is, is what's the difference, be, or um, uh, yeah, what's the difference between a carrier oil and an essential oil? Um, both of the of them are plant-based. They are derived from plants. So whether it comes from you know a tree, an herb, a fruit, whatever flower, um, they all come from plants. Um, in the world of aromatherapy, a carrier oil is a term used for a, a base oil or a fixed oil um, to be used with essential oils. So most essential oils should not be put directly on the skin, so they're added to a carrier oil to dilute them, yet still keep them very effective. Some common carrier oils that you might be familiar with are coconut oil, olive oil, um, sweet almond. Um, so you can kind of see where the carrier oils are coming from. They're, they're fairly uh, scentless and um, an essential oil is, uh, it's a distilled product uh, from the plant and it carries the essence of the plant. So it carries the, 
aromatic properties of the plant. It carries the medicinal uh, properties of the plant. Everything that is in that plant, it's a concentrated form of it. So they're very, very, um, um, you know, powerful in their own right. Um, so if you're interested in learning more, please let us know, you know, right on there. Um, there's some great information again on the website. I think I said that earlier, but you know, you can find some stuff out there and keep asking your questions. Okay. So the next question is, how do you use carrier oils? So I can answer that one too. Um, so carrier oils can be used in many different ways. Um, like Patty was saying, uh, carrier oils are used most commonly to dilute essential oils, so essential oils can be applied topically, um, but you can also use them in hair care, you can use them skin care, um, moisturizers, um, makeup remover, there's many different ways. You can even um, cook with them, like olive oil or coconut oil, they're, they're great. Um, some of the ones that Dana was mentioning, like for skincare, rose hip and evening primrose are excellent for skin rejuvenation. And um, so, again, check out the website. There's information out there for that. Okay. So, next question is: Any future plans to offer cap labels for your essential oils and blends? I can answer that. And yes, actually, it, we are working on it. It's in the art department right now. So it should be available in the next couple months. So check it out on our website. Yeah, there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a long time coming. Uh, you know, it helps people find their oils in a box. <laughs> so um, we appreciate you guys staying tuned, and we do see your comments popping up. So we'll make sure to answer that um, when we're not live. It's kind of far away, so we can't really see it, unfortunately. <laughs> um, so it's now time to tell you what our giveaway is. So this week, drum roll, please. Our basic sampler set. So I'll let Patty show you. Great to oils, you. guys. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so this is our top selling single note essential oils. So I know you guys would love to enter to win that. Wow, and we're. You have first. Yeah, first. <laughs> she needs some she needs some. Oil. Yeah. Yeah. So we're giving away two of these sets. So the way to enter is to go ahead and hashtag. Plant life. <laughs> 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 plant life. Pull that out. <laughs> so hashtag plant life in the comments below, and then yes, down there, and then go ahead and share it onto your Facebook page. And we appreciate your guys' questions. We appreciate you guys as customers and trying to learn yes. more about our company. Thank you. And we'd like to um, wish you a very good weekend and see you guys next Friday, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Bye. Bye.